to What's in Store. This is my friend Matt Robb. You may recognize him if you're an OG uh, Beauty Break fan mm -hmm. or if you've watched Smosh before. Mm -hmm. That is where he works. But he also was featured, you were never on Cheat Day. No, I always wanted to be on Cheat Day, but I think I was only ever on Beauty Break. Yeah, we did the, the quizzes. Quiz, yes. Sorry, the quizzes. quizzes, the quizzes. <laughs> I said that and we did the one where we did the glitter beard. I don't like inhale through your nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I feel it. Stop talking! Why oh, did I agree to this? <laughs> mm, I hate you both so much. <laughs> no! He's the new man! You're making a buff! <laughs> oh my god. You? You? <laughs> I feel like I can cough up glitter at this point. Oh, how did I get in my shirt? I wonder! <laughs> it's so it. weird! Replay where she poured it down my shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel it all in me. Then we did the glitter beard again on And we show. did it on your channel, yes. I feel like there's gotta be a, like a faster way to do that. I'm sorry, do you have somewhere to go? Oh, no, I'm not saying. You know what, art takes time. Yeah, is that good? I, honestly, this is going quite well. Great. Like, should we go somewhere after this? Yeah, like the Target? I, I said that, but like, I don't wanna leave. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> this looks good. I'm impressed. Yep, and you just pat it in there. <laughs> I just inhaled it. I'm gonna be sneezing glitter. Why did you do that to me twice? I know, I don't what know. What good I'm friend. Just, why did I want to do it twice? I guess it was cool and trendy. It must have done well. It got everywhere. I had to shave. That's why I lost the beard. I feel like there still... was glitter all over my apartment forever. Well, yes, ditto. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's okay. Glad we've matured past mm -hmm. that. Yeah, completely. So anyway, let's get bring the glitter in. Bring the glitter in. There's no one here. And there's no one it's here. It's just us. <laughs> Should we start with something sweet? Okay, I have issues with the idea of starting with sweet and then going to savory, but it's the show's format and well, I don't want to like, break it. When you think of munchies, you think of sweet and salty when you say it. And just honestly, because you say it that way, that's because you're going... Honestly, it all happened just because of the graphics. I made the graphics before I made anything else and then I forgot the word savory existed. You forgot the word savory existed. When I was making it and oh. now I just like I'm too lazy to go back and change the graphics. Savory, it's got like two O's. Uh, it's just too much work. Anyway, something sweet. Let's do it. I also, as usual, have multiple options for this first category. Very excited. Is there a so, theme? Or just like, meh? Sometimes I have a theme. Other times I feel like I base it on like, I'm like, what am I gonna title it? I feel like I'm gonna title it, what we'll eat first actually. What because we'll eat I first. feel like everyone was very excited about this when I posted Ooh. it online. Online. Uh, on the interwebs. It was because I couldn't decide if I posted it on Twitter, Instagram, or both. You post it on the line. Follow me on social media. <laughs> on the line. All right, what do we got? They're Twinkies. Are we, yeah. Do they make chocolate Twinkies ever? Yeah. Yeah, really? yeah, that's a pretty, I mean, isn't a chocolate Twinkie just a ho-ho? Technically, not, but you, not actual chocolate Twinkies. No, they do. No, 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 not like chocolate filling. Like this is like, this is like, you can find- It says Twinkie on the box though. Right, this is a Twinkie. You can find a normal chocolate Twinkie with regular vanilla frosting on the inside. Really? It's a pretty common thing, yeah. Oh. I don't like it. These are not just chocolate Twinkies. These are mint chocolate Twinkies. So they're filled with green cream. This is how good of a friend I am, though. Um, fucking hate mint. I so feel like much. mint chocolate is like the equivalent of pineapple on pizza. 100%, and I also hate that. Both of those things, um, get out of here. This is very awkward, then, which is strange because I don't like anything. I, you don't like anything, but it makes sense because people that don't like food like those things because they're, they're not naturally, they shouldn't go together. I always just grow up eating mint chip ice cream. That's also gross. I, it's, well, it's gross, it's, as it, I would it, say, it, I like it because child. it's sweet yet refreshing. No, you're eating toothpaste. Can't do it. But also, Ugh. okay, so here's another thing though. Chocolate is a complicated okay. relationship with me. Mm -hmm. I. I have a complicated relationship with chocolate. No, I like that chocolate has a complicated relationship with you. You, you're good, but chocolate, mmm. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I feel like I like chocolate flavored things, sure. but I don't like just like biting into a piece sure. of like cold or hard chocolate. If it is melted, that's okay. Like if it's like freshly baked chocolate chip cookies oh, or- yeah. Do you count chocolate chip cookies as chocolate though? So I guess, chocolate? I mean, okay. How do we do, so we'd have to- have Okay, to because of the controversy around mint chip, or not mint My chip, own mint controversy, chocolate. yeah. No, I feel, cause it's not just you. This is like a thing. Like, Where did you discover you loved mint and chocolate? Like a, as a child? I get, yeah, eating mint chip ice cream. Okay, so it was always mint chip. Cause to me, I, I, got, I my parents traveled a lot. There would always be like a little mint on the pillow. See, and I wouldn't have eaten that because I don't like chocolate. Interesting. Oh wait, so you just, you go ham. Cause these are wet. All right, I mean I. I, I don't, well, first of all, I was gonna show the cross section. Oh, cross section. Whoa, Ooh, look at that's that That's very unnaturally. Ooh, no, that is like a Ooh, it sea smells foam. Very, okay, so also Fucking I love mint chip ice cream, but that's the only combination of mint and chocolate I'm really eating usually. Like when else does it really come so up? You, okay, so, so you guess, might hate this more than me. Exactly, that is what I'm trying to say. I'm just high. 
Well, okay, if you're going with mint and you're like, we got a problem, mint company, we gotta make sure people don't think this is toothpaste. Why the fuck would you make it the color of toothpaste? <laughs> make it like pink. Make it like a color but that you're like, don't associate. Mint is a color. Yeah, this which, is not mint. This is also, seafoam I was gonna say, which is also a very hard color to achieve. Right. Like I know even in Photoshop, like it's hard to get one that doesn't look like a little neon green or like too green green. This is a little too neon green, I think. Oh my God. I mean, well, you didn't, oh, we didn't do the thing. I'm sorry, I thought we were just going at it. All right, look, right, you can't make me smoke and then be like, put a bunch of food in front of my face and then never know. Mm. Here's the thing about regular Twinkies. They also taste like a sponge. End of statement. <laughs> it's strange because it tastes like kind of like peppermint bark, but just like the wrong texture. Well, yeah, it's like you don't have to do any of the work for grandmas like you with no dentures. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. Oh, right, here's the thing. By the way. I'm in the box. I wanna see what's inside this bitch. Ingredients. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff I can't pronounce, which I just assume means it's healthy. The expiration date's probably in like 10 years. What if it has none? Wow, month. A year, no. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Welcome That's to the terrible. dance. Seeing all the Hostess products together kind of reminds me of Taco Bell in yeah. the sense it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. Just packaged. Yeah. <laughs> we need like cheese, meat, and a tortilla. We got cheese, meat, and a tortilla as a quesadilla. We got cheese, meat, and a tortilla. And don't get me wrong, I love Taco Bell. Yeah, big fan big of Taco, Taco Bell. Big Taco Bell fan. Mm -hmm. Sponsor me, please. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate that it's lamented. Oh my God, lamented. It's not a pun if you insert a word into another word. Yeah, it is. No. You spell the word, but if the word, that's not limited though anymore. So now it's. Right, then it's just word play. Word, so it's, that's okay. literally a pun. It literally is a sponge cake. Yep. Jocelyn has been very interested in all of the characters on all of oh, these yeah. and their names. Okay, I have a question for you. Who the actual F is this little man on the top of the can? Who is this? The toast guy with his tongue out. Who the little F is this fish? Does He's he have a name? Names. Oh, oh, what are their names? This one actually has a name. His name is Twinkie the Kid. Well, yeah. When we filmed another episode. Shit, what were we eating? Oh, it was the goldfish. Which brings us to our next thing. Okay, this I have to admit, I've had, and it's baller. So before the show existed, I had seen them, I was intrigued, but I had no reason to get them. Sure. Then after I had announced that I was gonna do the show, someone on Twitter told me that these were amazing. So I was like, oh fuck, I guess I have to go back and get them. They do have names. Yes, I don't know if the ones we're eating are these ones. They so better good. be, I want each thing that I eat to have a name in the I think family. that one's just like the cheesy one. Well, his name is Extreme. That's Brooke. She's a bitch. Okay. Swimmington, Brooke, and Finn. What's interesting is they decided that Finn should be the spokesperson for the cupcake, not Brooke. When I first saw them, I was confused because I didn't know the goldfish did not. That's kind of everyone's response. So when I, I buy like, them, is yeah. it vanilla cupcake and cheese? Ooh, or is ooh. it vanilla cupcake? Like, like imagine a, like the cheese ones, brand. like they just like dunked in frosting. Well, that's like the popcorn things they're doing now. That's right. really like- Oh God, have you seen it? We did it's, the Oreo popcorn, yeah. Somebody showed me the popcorn with M&Ms in it. It's like, stop it, stop it. Okay, I'm curious. Well, I want to hear your opinion because there's a reason why I like these so much. Cheers. Yeah. Hmm. Thoughts? Teddy Grahams. Dunkaroos. We have a little thing of frosting. 100% Dunkaroos. No? No, I, they're good, but then there's like a weird taste that I get maybe right off the bat. That's the cheese. Almost though, like it's a, like a tinge of salt. I mean, made in a cheese factory, like I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I accidentally yeah, whoops. Like, Oops, all cheese. Vanilla cupcake would be the last flavor, I would guess for that. What do you think they could have called it that would have been more marketable than that? Goldfish grams. I don't know if it would have been more marketable, but Cupcakes it would have been more um... accurate. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, I think I feel I feel like cupcake is like having a moment, right? Yeah, but you can't lie and say that it's gonna be. Are you you bought one? Um, last sweet one. It's not actually the last sweet one because one of the other categories has a sweet one, but. Oh my goodness. Last sweet one for now. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm in. What is inside of this? That's the thing is, I'm excited that they are filled. Oh, um, with cheesecake! Cream cheese. Cake. Okay, looks one of us can read. You feel better? Joss and I had the s'mores ones, and Pretty it good. suggested on the outside of that that we heat those up. Ooh, no, thank you. No? Hot cookie? What? what? 
Okay, Why I think are we could. Why you saying that like it's a weird like hot cookie, cookie ice freshly cold, freshly baked cookie ice what? cold? I'm kidding. No, you're right. But here's the thing: this is obviously not a real cookie. This is manufactured, so I don't know if it yeah, makes sense to put this it in some. It just kind of crumbles apart. Yeah. But it was good because of the filling. Ah, uh, this I feel like would take away the chewiness. What are the chunks? They're um cream cheese chips. So it's cream cheese chips on the top, and then on the inside is also filled with cream cheese. Yeah, which I'm okay with to be honest, because I feel like usually they don't put enough cream if there's a cream involved. Like when marshmallows are involved, there's never enough. Yeah, no, agreed, agreed. Oh, it smells is, good. It smells like mint. No, it doesn't. Cheers. Hey, think. Ooh, I don't like that the insides are different color than the top. I think I like it. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to like really take it all in, you know? Do I hate red velvet? The aftertaste is yeah. very strange. It's like a- Stale chocolate? Yeah. With a hint of coffee. And I don't like coffee, so that doesn't really. Yeah, like a little bit earthy, like grounds. I don't know, that's confusing. I like it for the first half, and then the second half of the journey is just kind of disgusting. It's like, who are you, cookie? Be yourself. Stop yeah. trying to be two different things. Okay, this next thing, I was gonna say can't be bad, but I was going out of order. Oh. These could be bad. I honestly think they won't be. These next two, it's one thing, but there's two flavors mm -hmm. we have to make. So um, this will go by quickly for you, not as quickly for us. Next time you see us, we will have aged exactly three weeks. <laughs> All right, you have that one and I'll have this one. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Explain. So, as you guys could see, Beep. this is something we made, but this is also the something, I, it's not salty, but it's savory. It's fine. Anyway. This is 620 milligrams of sodium. It's, it's pretty salty. See, would you call it salty? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Savory means salty. Then I, I was correct all along. You were right the I whole time. Don't take it back. Everything's Don't question fine. her. Anyway, there is one other flavor, but. Uh, is it chocolate I mean, mint? Everyone, <laughs> no. Everyone already knows if you've watched me eat food on any show before. I don't like anything usually. Mac and cheese, mm -hmm. I love. 100%. Spicy, I don't love. No, thank you. The third flavor is jalapeno. Ooh, So no, I was like, you. this alone is gonna kill me. Yeah. But I am curious about the normal one. I'm gonna try this just you have to. to do it. You have but... to. I feel like there's a, there's a really good concept in here somewhere, but I think this, like just replacing the cheese dust with Cheeto well, dust is not the move. Off the bat, sometimes even Kraft will surprise me Right. with how orange the powder yeah. is when I pour it in. But this looked radioactive to say the least. And I thought that it got better, but now that I'm looking at it in the light, it's no, pretty fucking it's orange It's pretty orange, still. a little too And orange. not the right, like not a natural kind no, of No, not like a good cheddar. But it feels like it should be good. Like if anyone knows cheese, it's Cheetos. You would think, well, okay, like, cheese is in Chester, lowercase. Chester, you better. Crunch. What is the Cheetos Mac hack? Uh, um, oh. It says topping with Cheetos. That's a lot. That's so many Cheetos. Okay. That's, like, I'd have to be really high for that. So, this is bold and cheesy, regular, straight up vanilla ass Cheetos. You ready? Vanilla. <laughs> yeah. That's confusing. We'll send a letter. Thank you. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's just straight up mac and cheese. I'm actually into this. This was definitely a stovetop mac and cheese, but sure. it gives me Easy Mac vibes. Interesting. Like, the taste of Easy Mac with an aftertaste of Cheeto. Yeah, I see it. I would prefer Kraft. Oh yeah, duh. And I don't like these noodles. Well see, I said, oh, they're twisted because Cheetos are twisted, but apparently they're not twisted. You said it with such confidence. I say everything with confidence. Look at the picture of a Cheeto. It's not a twist. It's I'm a, aware. It's a I little club. I'm correcting you. It's a club? It's a little club, like a caveman club. You don't see it? I do, but uh -huh. I, just, I feel like they're all different. Well, yeah, but the majority of them are club-esque. And then I think of like puffs. Right. That's my go-to Cheeto. How would you, what is a noodle equivalent of a puff? Like if they were gonna do a Cheetos puff Penne. flavor. Penne is good, Penne <laughs> is really good. Wait, also, like we just poured it in there. Why does it feel like it got cold like instantly? That's a really good question. Do you agree? No, it 100% did. Like I, we just took it off the stove and it's already- Yeah, I want my mac and cheese hot like cookies, which are supposed to be hot. This I looks like it, if I like go to clean the plate, like it isn't. The camera's not doing it justice. It's it looks more stuff. orange than it it really is. This is blood red, like blood red. Oh my goodness gracious! Great balls of Cheeto. Where's the box? I want to know more about this. That's it. Just flaming hot. Literally in the back, it just says, "Eat it, you idiot." Just okay, eat it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank. It tastes hot from far away. We should have prepared some kind of like palate cleanser. Oh my god. Go for it. You're gonna hate it. You're gonna hate it so much. 
It's weird because it is spicy, but I'm actually not. <laughs> Maybe I have no spice tolerance. No, it's for some reason I'm okay with it. I'm not. Give me more of the orange. Okay, never mind. It's hitting my throat. There it is. Mmm. Much better. I hated every second of that. I guess it, the flavor tastes like just normal mac and cheese and then it just happens to be spicy. I hated it and I blame Courtney. It's her fault. She did tell me, I responded to her story and she was like, oh, you're gonna love it. Young she lady. doesn't know that I don't like spicy things. This, so. is your, this is your fault, young lady. I feel it in my face, it hurts. I mean, I bought it before. Nope, I knew, she's it's still her fault. Blame her anyway. Blame so. her, it's her fault. Ooh. It's okay. Back to this though. This I'm, is actually, I'm into it. I feel like I'm about to burp and it's gonna be. One whole minted cheesy Vanilla cupcakey, red velvety mess. <laughs> what was it? Everything? Yep. Delicious. Spicy mint. Oh, thank you. Bring in the final one. The piece of the resistance. Something we made. And by make, I mean I kind of burned it almost a little in the toaster oven. It's okay. We, I don't like glaze on so. things. It just it doesn't look. What is the icing? Does it? It's the whole thing is s'mores icing. flavored. All right, here's my. Okay, first of all, I bought this for the s'mores episode, but Joss and I took too long to do everything, and we didn't get to it. So uh, lucky you, Jocelyn. This is for you. It's filled with chocolate and marshmallow. It looks like and has frosting. What you don't like? No, it's just I'm the like, look of it. The look of it, the look of it, it's just, it's Oh, you weird. don't mind the taste. You I don't mind the taste. It, looks it like just cum. looks, well, yeah, Got it looks it. like cum. It looks like cum. Okay. We Cheers. said it. Cheers. Oh, wait, also, you've oh, never right. had a toaster strudel. I've never had a toaster strudel in my that life. That is blasphemy. Well, because they've never put, like, candy in it, like, now. But, I'm like, the it. strawberry ones, this is good, but I don't taste the filling. I also don't taste any of the uh, golden graham. I just taste pastry. Mm -hmm. Well, to be honest, I think it's a golden grams collab, but I don't think it's like... Golden grams has one flavor. If you're gonna put your name on another thing, you better taste like fucking golden grams. Like, I don't think they changed the pastry flavor, so what would be graham about it? I hate it. Bring that back the actually, Cheetos. That actually feels wrong, because golden grams, there's not chocolate or marshmallow in it, right? There. No, it's golden grams cum flavor. <laughs> it's golden grams um, s'mores flavored, so they're like... Like, yeah, Golden Grams, but the s'mores, that's where it's at. There's a little bit in there. Because clearly they're capitalizing on it. We did in the last episode too, those bars. Oh yeah, please. S'mores are in, baby. I mean, they shouldn't okay. be right now. I've got more of the filling, but weirdly, the filling doesn't have much flavor. The filling doesn't have much flavor, nor does the pastry. But it's still really good. It's still fine. Bring back the mac and cheese. Like my neighbors. Well, I want to make sure that everyone hears that I'm bringing back the mac and cheese. Are you more of a sweet or salty person? Savory, maybe? Fuck you. I go in waves. I have to have like mini dinner, something savory, and then I have to have something desserty to like top it off. And then if I want to eat again, I go, I go back. Okay. I just get random cravings for certain foods and then I'll eat it every day for months. Like and chalk? Then, literally. I'll see those like freaky eater shows. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, person eats mac and cheese every day for 30 years. And I'm like, oh, when did they <clears throat> me? That was great. Honestly, everything on the table, that changed my life. I already forgot what we ate. All these like off flavors that are limited edition all feel kind of mediocre. Yeah, they're not a great. Well, I don't they feel can, like they were like fully developed. Well, because they can get away with doing them seasonally and not the whole year. So they're like, well, we're going to make our money back. You got a little bit of um, not cum on your uh, lip. <laughs> this looks like uh, what an adult baby with money would buy. Like straight up, like we are children. The guy at the grocery store when I was leaving with all of this, he goes, someone's going to have a fun night. And yeah. I just wanted to be like, sir, do you think I'm really going to I guess what else would he think? Right. But like, I thought, do I look that sad? Yeah. Do you think I'm just going to eat all this long? I was buying it late at night. Like he probably was myself, just like, yeah. So. Like, I mean, this is a hundred percent stoner food, like a million percent. I'm definitely going to be getting this again. The mac and cheese, the delicious. See, I prefer craft. That's fine. This is just, if I'm, you're, and that's your opinion. And that's your opinion. And that's fun. No, I think this is like, if I'm feeling adventurous and I don't want regular craft and I'm like, you know what? I got like a wild hair up my ass. Then Let's try Velveeta. that fucking, ooh. The secret is you do the Velveeta cheese and then you get a bunch of heavy whipping cream. What the what? Some butter and it's the CPK mac and cheese. Ah, uh, okay. That's fair. Much. Fair. Orange all the way. What was your, what was your, how does this work? Do we just decide what the best Honestly, one was? Honestly, there isn't ever. So <laughs> as we've always done it this way, let's top the show off by announcing our favorite food. Mine was this orange trash. <laughs> There's not really a formal rating system. It kind of just, whatever my guest I give it says, nine soda pops say. out of 12 soda pops. Common score. Mm. I think toaster strudel at the top for me. 
Wow, you hate. I this. love toaster strudels. But you were like bland. Doesn't taste like golden grams. I said I, the filling was bland. I love it. pastry. You put anything in a pastry, I'll eat it. What you do need to do, you've now done Walmart a couple times. Once you get this out of your system, you need to start getting weird and go to like an Aldi grocery store. I feel like a lot of people keep saying that, but I don't even know what that. It's is. like a so it's a German family bought grocery chain that have now branched out into America, and they have all these kind of like knockoff oh, brands. Recent? Not really. They've been around for a while, but there's one in LA now. It's so yes, it is recent. Now that yeah, <laughs> recent to us within a yeah. ten mile radius. Yes, yes, it is recent. Sure. Like there's a reason I've been hearing about Look, it. Look, I'm just gonna have a little bit more. Oh my god, I like it so it's much. It's really, honestly, it's just mac and cheese. And who's to say the mac and cheese is? That's bad? very true. Also, uh, World Market, I feel like would be mm -hmm. great. You no. should do a uh, like a weird booze one. Have you seen that Oreo wine is out? That'd be fun. Is it actually Oreo flavored though? I don't know. I think it just like pairs with the Oreos. Uh, oh, a good pairing. I'd like a double stuff and a Chardonnay. But yeah, give us other suggestions in the comments below and please leave a comment because that will help the uh, algorithm boost this video and remind YouTube that I exist. Al Gore's got rhythm. It doesn't have any rhythm right now. It's gotten a little rhythm. Jocelyn yeah. helped give it a little That's rhythm. That's good, a little zhuzh. I take away most of the rhythm yeah. in real life as well. You gotta watch out because the rhythm is gonna get you. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment to help me and like this video and share it with anyone that you think might like it. Mm -hmm. Please. Say, say nothing but nice things. Yes. I mean, no. Yeah, I think we both do. We cooked a whole meal, Lil. And heated up the toaster strudel. Heated it twice. Crazy.